All right. Good morning, everybody. It is chill and cold here in Wisconsin. But anyways, I, I did say I was going to make more videos. So I'm going to make another video. This is uh, the another one on Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio. And we did for Lab 2, for C Sharp, for Lab 2, we did the state capitals. So I'm going to run through here and show you guys this. So for this for this lab, we had to do five five buttons for the states, and then there's a label here. This is a label. Oops. This is a label. So I'll just I'll just I'll just try and simplify this as easy as possible. So this is a button, and if you don't know what a button is, you can find the button here on the toolbox. In order for you to find the toolbox, you click View, and you go to Toolbox, and then, like I said, if you double click it, you can see the button here. But I don't need another button, so I just delete it. So you have five buttons here, right? One, whoops, <laughs> and another button. And basically, what we're trying to do for this lab was that if 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 I were to click, if we start the app, I'll start it right now. If we start the app and I click on Wisconsin, the, the, the state capital Wisconsin is Madison. How do you get the code? I'm gonna dive in and show you how to get that code. Clear, exit, those are the most two simple ways of coding. So when you go to here, so like if like this would be another way of closing the form or closing the application. Okay, so you would type in your comments here. Now this this would be on your exit exit button. So your exit button is here. So this is another button that you would add and this is also another button, right? And for so I name it BTN exit. That's how we're supposed to name things, acronyms. And then down here on the text you would type exit and then this would be this would be typed out as exit. So the text property that you're typing in would be exit. So that's the most easiest way I can see it here. And then uh, let me I just gotta pause real quick. Alright so let's get back here to the SLN state capital here. So with this for the state capital, uh, back to the, if I double click the exit button, this is my code. I would type in close the form, right? The double, uh, the double backslash and then close the form. And then this would be your code. This dot close parentheses and then semicolon. This does not activate the code, but this will. Remember, if you're typing in comments to let to let um, yourself know and other people that would look at your coding, that they know exactly what you're trying to type in. For my clear, so this is your BTN clear. You can see I said I did the back two backslashes, clear the text box, state text box dot text, and the capital text box dot text equals uh, parentheses. I mean um. Uh, not parentheses, but the uh, you know the the commas. Oh my gosh, what are they call it now? Not parentheses, but the other. You guys know what I'm talking about. The other annotations here on top of here, and then uh, semicolon, so that you don't get. You said like I said that with this, then we declare the box. You can you clear both these text box because for my text box here, I have it listed as state text box, which that's not not what it's supposed to be called. It's supposed to be called for for a text box, like I would call it TXT capital, and then this one I would call it TXT state. So five buttons, and then. Well, basically seven buttons, two text boxes, and two labels. 
these two right here are labels, okay? Labels are different from buttons and text box. So don't forget that. For the coding for Wisconsin, you can see what I typed here. State text box. The first text box is for the state. So because when you click on Wisconsin, the first text box shows Wisconsin. And then it says, is it the, the capital, capital city of Wisconsin is Madison. So then your capital text box would be Madison. So you type in this code. Same thing for Michigan as well. State text box dot text equals Michigan and your capital text box dot text equals Detroit. Same thing for Minnesota and uh, Minnesota and Minneapolis, Iowa and Des Moines and Illinois and Chicago. It's a very simple application. Like I said, if you're new to this, like I said, I'm just showing you guys answers here. I'm just showing you guys, you know, I'm not like gonna demis I'm not gonna run through and do like a full tutorial on like oh you know we're gonna restart this app and then we're gonna and I'm gonna recode everything. That's gonna be like a very that like I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done videos like that already. So I just wanna get down and show you the, the answers and show you you know these codes here so that you can try them out for yourself. And obviously I know obviously I know the only, the best way to learn is to start learning on your own. I just want to give out, as I said, I just want to give this out so you guys can, can see, you know, how, how simple this is, but it's not easy to do it because you can mess up one thing. Like, let's just say you, you, you're copying, you're copying this whole code, code in here, right? You, you're copying the whole code. And then let's just say you forgot to add the parentheses. I mean, um, you forgot to add, you forgot to add the uh, semicolon after one of your codes. So this is gonna throw a little red error and you're supposed to have a semicolon. So make sure that you have your semicolon, make sure you have the, uh, <clears throat> you have these uh, annotations in between your words here. And I mean, let's just let's see if I can get, like let's say if you do state. So if you, if you can see me as I type, I'm typing, it's, um, I'm typing state here, you can see that state text box is already popping on here. So if I click enter, it automatically comes out. And then you can see, I'm trying to do text again. You can see the text is already coming out. This is pretty cool, I like about you know, what I like about uh, Visual Studio, it, it automatically populates what you're trying to type and gives you those options so that you can try and demonstrate on uh, demonstrate for yourself so you can see, is it text, is it to string, is it, you know, are you trying to clear it? And so, very, very cool to see this. Oh, uh, let's see if I can, if I can hop back here, let me see. Uh, like I said, running the application, you just click the start button. I mean, everything works properly. You can see that what I'm doing here. I'm clearing both the text boxes. All right, so if I click uh, Illinois, clear. I click exit, I already exit the application, so then I go back and recode it if I see something that's wrong. So, other than that, let me see, other than that, that's, that's a very basic application. And this, like I said, this is our, this is our second lab of doing it. So, like I said, feel free to, uh, feel free to, uh, if you have any questions, comment. I mean, it's just, like I said, I'm just showing you guys the, the coding. So you go back and look at and scroll through the video and watch the coding and, and check it out for yourself and see if you want to try it out. 
very basic. It's a very basic application here. Nothing, nothing advanced. So, and plus I'm still learning, so I'm still new to all this. So thanks for watching, guys.